Okay, so let's take a look at a graphic that goes over how to diagnose pneumonia. So if Dr. Baber, can you go through this one with us? And the first one is a, a basic physical exam. Yes, actually, I, I would say the first one would be a good history. Okay. Um, you know, speaking to a patient, finding out what their symptoms are, when they started, what their other medical problems are, what mm -hmm. their potential exposures have been. And then it's really doing an, a good physical exam, um, head to toe, uh, a chest X-ray to look for evidence of pneumonia in the lungs by imaging. There are blood tests we can do um, that may help to lead us in one direction or another. And sometimes we're able to test someone's sputum if they're producing a significant amount and send it for culture. Uh, there are also some other tests that can be helpful. Um, swabs of the nose um, are sometimes used to diagnose pneumonia or at least diagnose the cause of the pneumonia mm -hmm. as well as some urine tests that we have at our um, at other different facilities. Dr. Baker, can you explain for our viewers at home who may not know, what is sputum? Sputum is really the mucus that you're producing. Okay. Now, how, is, is a culture often helpful in figuring out what's going on with a patient? With pneumonia, it's, I would not say that it's frequently helpful. If mm -hmm. someone is producing a significant amount of sputum from lower down in their airways, it can be helpful. But it's often hard to get a very good specimen 